You know, it just kind of felt like crap leading up to the fight. But, uh, you know, everything happens for a reason. Um, usually when I do things, first off, I, I do things really shitty, and then I uh, always end up doing really good. I'm still young in this game. Uh, beat a qualified opponent, Eric Shelton, he's really good. Uh, went against some of the best of the best and, and competed against the best of the best, and hats off to him. He's a hell of an opponent. Um, hopefully in the future, I will show a better uh, form of Jared Brooks. Um, they call me the monkey god. I'm going to come out there, and I'm going to uh, fight like a god in the future. What was it about the judges that you mentioned how it felt different than it was weird. It was like it was like a video game. You know what I'm saying? And I, I haven't fought in almost a year. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, people like Ian McCall. You know, I wish I could have fought him in February. Uh, that definitely, I felt a lot better leading up to that fight. So, um, you know, Eric Shelton, he's a hell of an opponent, hell of a striker. You know, he's well-rounded. Um, you know, thank God uh, for giving me that win. Um, but expect more out of me, guys. I'm going to come out and uh, I'm going to bring the ruckus within the next few months and hopefully they can get me uh, a fight every two months. I'm like Cowboy Cerrone. I only weigh about 129. I'm probably weighing about 125, sopping wet right now. So um, if, if they're wanting me to fight in the next two, one, two months, two weeks, whatever, I'm ready to go. And um, I would really like to fight Magomed Bibliotov in Detroit uh, in December or uh, Ben Yen. I think th th those are really good, uh, good fights for me in the future. I mean, I can't really, can't really quote that. It's really hard to, to answer that kind of question. But um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna see a better version of me within the next two to three months. Uh, this was a, a hell of an experience, and I'm so happy that I got to to be involved in this great promotion that I've wanted to be in since I was really young. So uh, I appreciate everybody, the lead up, the build up, everything. It was it was weird, but it was crazy, and and uh, you guys are gonna see a, a way better version of me. I just needed to do a lot more uh, feints. It was just weird, you know what I'm saying? Like, just just being out there, you know, the crowd atmosphere. I think it's something I'm gonna have to get used to. But um, you know, within with, with the last round, uh, I was a little tired. But uh, with the last round, I kind of got off the jitters just a little bit, and um, you know, I, I scored that fight. You know, uh, the first two rounds, me. I'd say the third round, Eric. So. Was there any concern? Yeah, I was, I was concerned. He's a hell of a fighter. He, he went out there and went for broke just like I did. So um, hats off to him. Hats off to his whole camp. Uh, they prepared for me really well. There's you know, a lot of back and forth on top of you. I know you were saying stuff to another way and everything. Is that just who you are, you know, your competitive side, or is there any ill will? Eric, Eric is a good dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, pinpointing out any flaws in his game. But if I can get in the dude's head before the fight, I'm going to do that. So if, if, uh, if these guys can't take the, the emotional part, then I'll exploit it. Why did they call you a monkey, though? Look like a monkey. <laughs> and uh, I'm, just, I'm just really into religion, just really into uh, Hinduism and stuff like that. So, you know, Hanuman is the monkey god. Uh, just pretty much landed upon me, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, ever since I was little, man. I, I'm not used to losing, so thank God I didn't lose tonight. Um, I'm not used to losing, so you guys are going to see me go straight back to the drawing board. I'm coming back in December, hopefully, if they allow me. So I'm um, going to fight the way that I'm supposed to, just like a world champion that I am. No, actually, uh, my coach James Lee, which is right over there, he, uh, after one of his wins in King of the Cage, he's really tight with Herb. And uh, he, he tapped Herb's uh, dick one time, so I just thought I'd do it for the one time, too. What did Herb say? Oh, he just smiled at me. Oh, so yeah. Did he know why you were doing that? I'm pretty sure he did when he, when he saw me with James, so. Okay. Just talk to us. You said you were into religion from my religion to Hinduism. How did you get into that? I'm just an open-minded person, you know what I'm saying? Any, any of you guys could tell me anything, and I'm going to take it in and uh, research it and, you know, put, put it out there, you know what I'm saying? Is this something you got into recently? No, always been like that, you know, just always been into uh, numerology, religion, just anything that I feel can link into my manifestation, into what I want to be. Do you find that uh, being into religion and Hinduism, do you think it helps you when you go into fights on a mental, mental level? Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I'm definitely into numerology more because uh, what they say is uh, numbers speak louder than words. So, uh, you know, I see 
master numbers. You guys can look that up. I'm not gonna like you know quote on that, but uh, I just see them before fights, and it's weird. You know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, I have things looking after me. Yeah. I'm very irresponsible, okay. so I just keep everything in uh, one little thing so I can't uh, lose it. Pockets aren't enough. Pockets aren't enough. I just, I, I dig into those some bitches all day, so. What do you have in uh, I have my passport, uh, have all my money. Passport? Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> well, I, I just got off a flight. Uh, you know, I have my regular driver's license too, but uh, who knows where the fuck that is. So. <laughs> I appreciate it, Ariel. Sorry for calling you John Anik, by the way. That was a shitty thing of me. <laughs> Any more questions? I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you.